due to popular demand, we are back with the dinosaurs, Will and Ralph. We're going to start calling this the Dino Series, and Will and Ralph want to kind of tell you some helpful hints around the home, especially a new home, and we're going to kind of think of things and talk about things that you might experience in a new home and new construction in the first year or two or three that you're living in it. So um, today, uh, Ralph here had an idea that he wanted to talk about and bring to your attention. It has to do here in the kitchen. Matter of fact, Ralph wants to talk to you about the kitchen faucet. So how many of you have bought a new home, moved in, and within, you know, a month or two or maybe a few months or so, you notice all of a sudden the pressure that I had at the beginning when I first moved in at my sink has just kind of turned into this little drizzle. It's a little bit deflating, isn't it? Well, we're going to show you quickly how to take care of that. If you have experienced that, then what you're going to need to do is pull out your faucet. Trick of the trade, helpful hint, grab a pen or a pencil or something to shove up in here so the counterbalance doesn't pull this line back up in through the faucet and down into the bottom where you have to fish it back out after you detach the head or the nozzle here. So what has happened is in new construction, you have new plumbing lines that are put into the home. And oftentimes there's dirt and stuff in a new development that gets in those lines during construction. And the first few days and months as water runs through those lines, it's going to flush out some little, maybe uh, some small sand or some dirt or some mud that gets in that line. And where does all that wind up? Well, it winds up right here in the head of this faucet and it will slow it down. And it can do it to your bathroom faucets and your kitchen sink. Mostly your kitchen sink because you're going to tend to use this overall more than you do in your bathrooms. In the bathrooms, just when you're getting ready, brushing your teeth, but think about how often you turn on your kitchen sink faucet. So if you've experienced that low pressure, and just to show you again, you can kind of see it's a little deflating. It's not much pressure at all. It's about the size of a pencil stream and it's just not pressurized at all. Pull the nozzle out, put your pencil in here so you don't lose your line. And then right here, you're gonna see a connector and it's gonna be threaded. So just like you'd unscrew a screw, just unscrew that. And it's going to pop out. And then inside here is going to be your head. I'll bring this up here for you to see. And, oh, yep, if you look in there, see if I can make that work for you. If you look in there, you might be able to see some of the dirt and stuff that's in laying up in there. Blocking is a little screen in there, and it's it's a filter and it has caught all that mud, dirt, and sand in there. So what you want to do is just turn this back on kind of low, fill this out, kind of wash it out, tap it on the bottom of the sink, look in there, make sure you got it good and clean. And then just want to screw that right back on the exact same way you took it off. Make sure this part's clean as well. Stuff it in there, screw it down, and turn it on. And now you have a fully functional, operational, high pressurized kitchen sink faucet again. Guys, if you found this helpful, leave a comment below. If you have an idea for other things that maybe happened around your home, let us know. That's what we do. This is what we are. We are specialists in home building. Ralph and Will come up with some uh, great ideas to talk about, but uh, this one all goes to uh, Ralph. So thank him later, but this is your dinosaur video, Dino Days, and um, your Dino Series. We'll come back with more later. Take care. Bye.